Alrighty, we're gonna try something different tonight. Try to make these uh, videos easier for me to manage. Make them a bit shorter and... What I wanna try is this. Before I get to the moon and Mars, if it ever shows up, I just wanna take some snippets of uh, the other stuff I got in the sky today. So I like to start with these uh, cool shots of the sun I was out doing some testing, so I just grabbed a couple screenshots from the video. But it was a cool looking uh, starburst, sunburst of 14 points. So I'll show those two pictures here. Okay, so that was this afternoon, and uh, so during the evening, after the sun goes down, I came out to get the planets, and we start with Jupiter. It's the first one that showed up for me over in the south and I think it was about 9.30 p.m. then and we can zoom in onto the uh, the moons. There was only three of them that could be seen so the other one must be parked on the other side of the planet. We got a bit of the uh, bands of Jupiter. They're not quite, it's funny as I was talking in the video that I have this vision of Jupiter and Saturn and stuff like that in my head and I always think I should be able to get it in better. But of course they never can. You know, these aren't telescopes and they are limited in their abilities, the cameras, so. But always trying to get it better. But anyway, so after Jupiter, Venus does, uh, Venus is over in the west, northwest and at first, it looked like Venus was uh, had a different shape from the night before because last night it had more of a teardrop shape. So I don't know what was up with that, if it was my settings or what, but I did keep playing around with the settings, but still. Anyway, so after Venus, I turn around over in the southeast and there is Saturn along with the lightning bugs. But... Uh, so we got a pretty good look at Saturn. I think it came out okay. I always love getting that planet, that ring planet. And just like the Jupiter shots, it's like, oh God, I wish I could get it in better. <laughs> but I think it's the best with the uh, equipment that we do have. Anyway, so now that brings us to the evening. It's now 11.32 p.m. and we have a 97% moon up there. Well, 96.5%. So, Mars has uh, risen, but it's either too low on the horizon, stuck behind trees or something. It's going to be about the 4 o'clock position of the moon. Now, tomorrow night, Saturday, is when they'll be even closer together, so... So we'll take a full-on look here with the Nikon P900. All the other shots uh, from the sun to the planets were from the cannon. And so the moon looks similar to what it did last night. Okay, so about the only area that might show some depth of craters and such is over in the right hand side. Boy, it's quite watery this time of night. A lot of atmosphere. It got up to 101 degrees here in my backyard. And I know it's been worse in other areas, so I hope you're all doing well and safe. And Yeah, so as we see on the left hand side, it's just kind of flat and dull. That's all right, though. It'll be a crescent again. <laughs> Still no sign of Mars from looking towards the sky, but okay, I'm going to let that rise and walk around the backyard and see if I can scope out Mars. What time is it? 11.37. It should be about 5 degrees above the horizon, so... Okay, my goal has been to get Mars. Everybody else has been getting it. They've been staying up late for it. And 
at least we get three of the planets, which is really cool at dusk because I like getting the the landscape, the trees and such. It makes for such a nice picture or video, whatever. All right, while we're waiting, try to get a different look and you see a Canon 80D. All right, it's too light. It's funny though. I don't know if the video will pick up the proper colors because I don't know. I think sometimes they skew the colors, but to my eye, it's white yellow, and that's what's showing on the on the monitor. Actually, I thought Mars was going to be to the four o'clock position, but I see something coming through the trees over at the uh, seven o'clock. I'll have to double check the star app, but hmm tree there. It's this tree right there. And that would be Mars. Down in the trees. Okay, it's 1147 right now. Okay. I might be able to get it in. Just checking to make sure those are lightning bugs. Maybe another silent uh, aircraft. And I can't see it by eye. That's so weird. I think that is the uh, fourth, I'll call it an airplane. That I couldn't see by eye, only uh, flashing lights on the monitor and no sound. Anyway, let's do this. Darn it. Yeah, I want detail. <laughs> Not gonna be able to get it with a camera. Keeps blinking in and out, but well, at least we got Mars. Finally. <laughs> I think I got Mars a few weeks back or a month or so ago. But it sure is a red planet. I would love to get it in better. To see that crack across the middle. It's now midnight. So we're on the last day of June, June 30th now. There's our red planet rising. Yeah, if I wasn't, uh, if I wasn't so old and I'd get a telescope, but I just don't want to go through the learning curve. It's just not my desire. <laughs> that and the expense. Okay, so there's three of them in the one shot. Saturn way up in the upper right hand corner moon and down, down below is Mars. It's now 12-12 on this Friday, Saturday night. I'm going to wish you all a wonderful one. Take care and be safe. Be careful with all the heat warnings and everything else out there. Don't overdo. Drink plenty of water. <laughs> Stay cool best you can. Alrighty, you guys. Take care and thanks again for everything. I appreciate you watching the sky with me. Good night now.